Hi there, it's Julie DiMatteo from thepaperpixie.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this adorable little gift card purse that could really hold gift cards, a little note, uh, even business cards. It would be really sweet to have a gift card in one pocket and then a little personal note in the other. And then I've just made a little belly band to go over it. And this is highlighting some new products that are gonna be coming out in the new 2017-2018 annual catalog. We're gonna be using the Fresh Florals Designer Series paper and the new Daisy Punch and Coordinating Stamp Set, which is called Daisy Delight. So super cute. You can get the punch and the stamp set in a bundle at a bundled price. And I wanna give credit to fellow demonstrator Ava Schrottmeyer who came up with this idea. And this, I, this uh, gift card purse is actually made using our gift bag punch board. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this project aside. We're gonna use a piece of designer series paper from that Fresh Florals designer series paper stack. This is in the Berry Burst color, one of our new in colors. And it measures 12 inches by six and a half inches. And with the gift bag punch board, we're gonna take out the bone folder that comes with it. And we're gonna start by lining up this left edge on this line here. There's a little marker here as well. You wanna push that all the way up to the top line it up with that line, and go ahead and punch. And then we are going to score on the large, the line with the L, and score there. Then we're gonna slide this paper, lining up this score line with this little tick mark here. We're gonna go ahead and punch. And then we are gonna score the two side lines. We are not going to score the triangle. So we're skipping that part. Basically, don't follow the directions of the gift bag punch board for this project. So again, just the two side lines. Then we're gonna shift the paper to the left to the second score line that we just made. So we're ignoring that middle one here, lining it up to the little pointer, punch. We're gonna score on the large line. We're gonna, let me do that one more time. There we go. Okay, slide that down to the pointer, punch. Sideline, sideline, and then we're just going to slide down to that second sideline and punch. Okay, now we are just going to keep this tab, so I'm actually going to, using the gift bag punch board, do that score line here. So I'm pushing it up against here, and I'm using this horizontal guide right here. Oops, getting caught. There we go. Okay, so we just scored here, along here. All right, so now we can go ahead and put the gift bag punch board away. We're done with it. And I'm gonna use my paper snips and notch out this tab right here. So we cut off that tab and just notch those ends in. And now we're gonna bring in our Stampin' Trimmer and we're gonna cut off three of the four tabs. Again, we are leaving this tab here. And I am lining up this, um, the, whatever, whatever you call this, <laughs> the little, um, li the line right there that the blade goes through. So I'm just lining it up right here and we're going to cut. And you're gonna feel the blade kind of stop at each one of those little points. So those two pieces are coming off. And then, I'm not sure if you can see the bottom one, lift it up for you. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut that bottom tab off. And again, you'll feel that blade kind of loosen up once it hits those marks. Okay, you put the Stampin' Trimmer away, and then here's what we're left with. We've got our score lines, we've got the one tab. So what we're gonna do now is fold and burnish on all of the vertical score lines. We're not gonna do this one quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now I will note, you're not gonna be able to see, but we didn't score all the way up to the edge there. That is totally fine. We're gonna just start folding it here 
and it will naturally want to fold the rest of the way. It's just those two center side lines that we made. All right, so we're done with all of the folding and burnishing, and then those two side lines that we did, we're actually just going to fold them the opposite way. So fold back on itself, and it's going to look, if you can see that, see how they're it's gusseted. So what we're going to do is take um, some tear and tape adhesive, and I'm going to run that along the folded edge here of that little tab that we notched in. Okay. And then we're just going to take this side to meet the other side. Just going to burnish that a little bit so it sticks nice and good. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this bottom and fold it up to, to line up with this edge. So the bottom edge to line up with the top edge. And we are folding a lot of um, layers of paper here. So I want you to go ahead and burnish that really well. And it's starting to come together here. So now all we need to do is adhere this center section together. Now you can certainly use liquid glue here. I prefer to use the tear and tape. And it's going to look like I'm doing a lot of tape, but there's a method to my madness. Um, we're going to be punching a little half circle here. So I'm going to do a double row of tear and tape to ensure that that sticks together after we punch the little half circle. Also do one row along the bottom. And then just a little bit on the side. All right, put the tear and tape away. Go ahead and remove that backing. And then adhere those two together. And I'm just going to use my bone folder and burnish that down again. Make sure that that's stuck nice and good. Pinch together. Okay, so now that's together. Look how cute. Okay, we're going to use the one inch circle punch. And we're actually going to punch all three layers of this paper. So the two layers we stuck together and this outside layer. And the punch fits pretty perfectly in between those gussets. And we're just going to do a little half circle. I'm a little bit less than halfway into the circle. Punch that out. And that just helps us get your fingers in there and reach for whatever you, you're going to put in the gussets. So now we can gently fold this top layer down. The reason why we waited was because there's quite a few layers of paper here. So I'm just gently folding it down. All right, and then we are going to hold this together with a belly band. So I've got a piece of cardstock that measures one and a half by six inches. And I told you to put the tear and tape away, but I'm actually going to use one more little piece right here along the edge. All right, so I'm flipping this over. I've got the flap on face down. And we are just gently going to fold. I'm going to go ahead and remove this tear and tape. Because we want the belly band to be a little bit loose so that it'll slide on and off easily. So I'm just going to gently fold that over. And fold this to meet. And it's going to overlap by about a half of an inch. Go ahead and push that down. As you can see, since we did that loosely, it's going to slide nicely there. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping using that Daisy Delight stamp set and Berry Burst ink. Again, one of our new in colors that's going to be released June 1st. And the key to this to make sure that it lines up properly with the punch is to make sure that your petals are going straight up and down, like at the 12 o'clock and the 6 o'clock, if you were looking at it like a clock. We'll do two of those. All right, and then using the daisy punch, we'll go ahead and punch those out. Okay, 
Now, using my bone folder, I wanna curl these petals just slightly, so I'm gonna flip it over, and using my thumb and the bone folder, so I'm gonna put the daisy in between the bone folder and my thumb, I'm just gonna gently pull, putting just gentle pressure, because these petals can rip pretty easily, they're so dainty. I'm just giving a little bit of curl to the petals, we're gonna do that to both of them. And then we're gonna stick those together using one dimensional. Put that right in the center of one of the daisies. And then I'm gonna offset the petals. Super cute. Okay, now we're gonna use one of these fabulous new fac clear faceted gems, which are textured and just perfect for the center of a daisy one of those up with my favorite tool, the paper piercer. Just gonna stick that right in the center there. All right, now I'm gonna use a little bit of liquid glue to adhere this to the, over our belly band. And this daisy is gonna serve two purposes, not only make this project beautiful, but also to cover that ugly little seam right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of pressure to adhere that down. It'll take a few seconds to adhere. Oh, so cute. I love alternatives for our punch boards. So the gift bag punch board obviously makes gift bags in all different sizes, but there are other alternative projects like this fabulous one that you can use for the punch board to give you, to really give you your money's worth. Um, the other punch board that I love is the envelope punch board. So many different projects you can use for, for obviously their intended purpose for a gift bag or an envelope or a whole bunch of other really cool projects. So isn't this super sweet? It's Teacher Appreciation Week this week, so I think what I'm gonna do is put a little gift card and a note in for my children's teachers. I think they'll, they'll like that, I think. So thank you so much for stopping by today. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'd also love for you to visit my blog, thepaperpixie.com, where I try to do blog posts Monday through Friday. And I'd love for you to stop by and subscribe to my blog. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope you have a great and blessed day. Take care.